Good morning. My name is Ujjwal Negi and today I am going to deliver a short presentation on my topic Tri-State Devices. So let's begin with it. So before even coming to the topic, the three state gates, let us discuss why is it that we are even, you know, talking about three state gates. Why is it something so special? So first of all, the normal gates, the conventional gates that we come across in our day-to-day -day life, the AND, NAND, ZOR, etc, etc, all those gates work upon two logics, two states, that is logic 1 depicting state 1 which is high and logic 0 depicting second state which is state low. What is so peculiar about this three state gates is that it works upon an another state, the third state which is impedance state, high impedance state actually. So what happens in this high impedance state? As the name suggests, in a high impedance state, the circuit is open. It works as an open circuit. And what happens when the circuit is open? When the circuit is open, there is no output. So uh, this means that uh, in these three state gates, we can switch on and off the output, depending upon if it is in its high impedance state or not. So these three state gates can work upon conventional logic like AND and NAND gates etc etc but most commonly it is used in the buffer gate. In the next slide we will be seeing the figure of the buffer gate. Also we will be discussing how it is different from the conventional buffer gate. So this is the figure for the three state buffer. The conventional buffer will not have this control input line. So what a conventional buffer gate is that whatever is the out uh, input, uh, here it is input A, is translated uh, in the output. So if the input is A, the output will be A. Now here we have a control input C. Now we know that this third state is that uh, if C, this control input is set to 1, then it is said to be enabled. What happens when it is enabled? In its enabled state, it behaves as a conventional buffer gate. That is, if the input is A, the output Y is in terms equal to A when C equals to 1. Uh, in it, and in, in its high impedance state, which is C equals to 0, uh, the circuit will be open, obviously, and the output will be disabled, is what we call it. So this is all written in this slide. Now, what is so peculiar about this high impedance state? So what, what is that it brings to the game? So what it does is that it is special from the other gates because a large number of three state gate outputs can be connected with wires to form a line without endangering loading effects. So in the normal gates, we just cannot simply combine all the outputs into one single line. Uh, in these three state buffer gates, we can actually do that. Yeah, so moving on to the next slide, we have another uh, commonly used multiplexers 2 to 1 and 4 to 1 as an example of some three state devices. So we'll see the construction of the multiplexers with these three state buffers. So the general and the uh, figure we are familiar with for a 2 to 1 multiplexer has uh, does not have this uh, three state buffers uh, uh, in this figure we have two three state buffers and instead of these two state two three state buffers we'll be having an and gate here an and gate here and the outputs of these two will be combined to an or gate in the conventional multiplexer 2 to 1 multiplexer but now in these three state buffer gates that we are using we just can simply use these two three state buffer gates and you yeah, and the general select line that is uh, ideally used so what happens here is that when the select input is set to 0 what happens when it is 0 when it is 0 the control input for A is negated and it becomes 1 thus enabling the output for A and it will now the A part will behave as a conventional buffer gate 
that is a will be translated to the output so here from this part we have a here what happens to the b since select was zero uh, this uh, is in its high impedance state and what happens when uh, we have the high impedance state of a three state buffer is that the output is disabled for this leg so b is not translated to this output y so what we have as an output y for s equals to zero is output y is equals to a what happens when s equals to one when select input is equals to one when select input is equals to one then b lag is enabled and it is translated to the output y and the a input is not translated because it is in its high impedance state because it is negated here so if one is coming and it is negated it becomes zero and thus triggering its high impedance state the, uh, this is about this line now we'll move on to the next example of a three state device which is four to one line multiplexer what we have here is four three state buffer gates now what happened is that we see a decoder here two to four decoder while we why, why is that we are using a decoder so since uh, we are combining all these outputs so we cannot you know just straight away combine we have to make sure that only one input is making through it so that we do not merge all of them because then uh, it will be harmful to our circuit also so to make sure that only one of these input these control inputs is triggered to one and all of the rest are triggered to zero we are using to de uh, the i decoder actually so so what happens is that uh, if uh, so see there uh, in this diagram we also have an enable you know so enable with enable set to zero there will be no output in this decoder so the, there will be zero 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 here since these all control inputs will be zero there will be uh, these all four three state uh, three state buffer gates will be in their high impedance state and thus will not produce any output they will be disabled so when we have enable set to one then it is active and then depending upon the binary combination we have as a select inputs these one of these four uh, will be triggered like if we have the combination 0 0 then this control input will be set to 1 all the rest will be 0 so thus this will be enabled the output for i naught will be enabled and will be translated to the output y but all these e1 e2 and e3 will be disabled and will not be translated to the y thus for 0 0 this will be enabled for 0 1 this will be enabled and i1 will be translated to y i2 will be translated to y in case we have 1 0 as the select input thus making this as 1 and rest of them 0 thus i2 will be translated and in the case of i3 we will have select input as 1 1 so in the next slide this is all what it is written and with this i finish my presentation Thank you so much.